Hello everyone and welcome to my unboxing video and thank you for joining me. Uh, today I have a uh, Sound Thunder uh, Models helicopter that I ordered in the mail, or actually I ordered offline about three months ago. So I've been waiting patiently, uh, oh my god. I, I rarely ever order offline but it actually took so long I thought I was actually getting um, ripped off. But it, I didn't, I didn't get ripped off. Um, but I'm gonna be unboxing this beautiful aircraft. They actually sent me before they actually shipped to like confirm all the um, uh, aspects of the aircraft. Oh, by the way, I bought an aircraft. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I said that or not, but I have short memories. Not actually, but I just forget a lot. Um, so yeah, they sent me proof pictures before I actually bought this bad boy. Um, so I do know what it looks like, and it's actually, oh my god. I got it this morning, and I got a text message that I had a package, I'm like, well, I didn't know anything except for, like, something two months ago. But holy shit, it is here. And I have four rotor blades. I've got my main rotor, um, mast, and I have my tail rotor, my hand and torque rotor. So, without further ado, I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. I'm also um, doing this on a bootleg-ass iPhone because I don't ever do unboxing videos. And I thought I'd do it because I don't... It was fucking cool. I spent $300 on this thing, okay? So I have the uh, main um, the display board here. Um, you can probably see my reflection in this metal, which is pretty cool. This is my nice uh, Minnesota Gophers shirt. Thank you. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have our tail number here, which is number 355 Lima Lima. Um, this is Lifelink 3. This is a Lifelink 3 helicopter. Um, with their logo up here. This is a custom thing. It was all included in the cost. This whole base plate, this, this is all included in $330. I don't know if I said that or not, but... Um, owned and operated by Air Methods Corporation. And this is an Augusta Westland 119 uh, KX helicopter. So, um, this is an Air Medical helicopter, if you didn't get by Air Methods. Air Methods is a huge corporation. <gasps> Um, it, it's a huge corporation for the air medical industry across the country. Like, they're, it's air methods, and then there's, it's pretty much air methods. It's, it's, it's ginormous. They own so many helicopters, it's ridiculous. But I'm actually going to take this out real quick. I'm going to put down my camera because I don't know how fragile this bad boy is. Give me one second here. I'm going to remove it because I don't know. <gasps> this thing is beautiful okay look at this so there is some assembly required to this um you can kind of see the shaving salon but anyways um these are super look how small these things are do not bump those whatever you do danger you know i just realized there's no danger symbol here i could have added that but i don't want to spend probably an extra ten dollars on that I could have added a bunch of other things. Like, I, so many details I could have added to this. But the major ones are here. So I got the cool antennas. The antennas were a must. And they were all pretty much included in the cost. So, um, I also have... Uh, well, it's kind of hard doing this with one hand. Sorry. I'm going to try to do this without breaking any things off. I've got the footsteps. Um, pretty much all things. I got the collision anti-collision uh, warning lights here. I don't have one on the top, but that's all right. So I'm actually gonna assemble this real quick and I am actually running low on storage on my iPhone. So I, I wanted to do this because on my other iPod, my microphone doesn't work. So I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna grab these rotor blades and rotor hub and I'm gonna assemble this bad boy. Oh my Lord. Mm. This thing's actually got some weight to it. Holy crap. It's got a metal spindle, which is probably the whole thing. So I don't know if this whole thing is full or full wood. It feels... I don't know. This would take some extreme cutting if this was all wood. Like, holy shit. I could never do this. Like, I've made an A-10 Thunderbolt, but it was trash, and I donated it to um, Toys for Tots. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm going to assemble this main rotor first. Uh, on this actual helicopter IRL, it's actually a white top um, on the blade and black on the bottom. You'd think it'd be black on the top and white on the bottom, but nope, it's okay. Um, so I'm going to assemble this real quick, and I don't want to break them because there's really small tines here, and I do not 
I want to break those because if I break one, oh hell. Then I have to get a new mast. The, they'd have to match the color. So I'm just not going to do that. So I'm going to be very careful on this, especially the tail rotor. Like, I want to show you this real quick. Take a look at that hole. That is small. So give me one moment. I'm going to assemble this and put that on the camera. Actually, I'll try to prop it up, see if I can't. This is bootleg it, I know. I'm sorry. Um, let's just jam this bad boy in here. Okay, there's one. Oh, if you guys have not heard, I have a uh, air traffic control in the background because I thought it'd be soothing playing with aircrafts while air traffic control is in the background. Oh, that is fit right in there. This one. I've never heard that air traffic controller before. I sound southern. There we go. That one just fits right in. This one, I do not... It does not want to fit in there for some reason. I don't want to force it, but... That's it right here. And this thing does turn. Look at that. That's dope. Okay. I'm going to assemble the uh, tail loader real quick. I'm surprised this video is actually still going. Because as soon as I run out of storage... This is probably going to be a two-part video. Um, this is the anti-torque rotor. And it's already got some angle on it, so it's actually pretty cool. And if you look how tiny this little thimble is, look at that. And I'm going to stick that thing in this tiny-ass thing, and it's going to stay there. So I'm just going to move this crap out of the way.
Okay, so continuing on, my like I said, my storage did die. Um, anyways, I did attach the back tail rotor, and this is what it looks like. We have about like two millimeters of clearance between the actual tail and the main rotor shaft. Um, so yeah, this is it. <laughs> it's a fucking beaut. I'm gonna pick this up real quick. Look at that. This is actually pretty long too. It's about maybe like eight inches. So I'm, I'll grab a TV remote and you can kind of see the size comparison. So give me one second, let me grab one. Good thing I'm gonna oh. So, this is the TV remote. It, it's, it's almost a foot actually. So, fully spinning main rotor. And I, there, it, this tail rotor does spin, but there's a lot of resistance in it. This is a very, very small thing. If I were to actually bump that, oh, oh man, I would be, I would probably cry. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get this crap out of the way. And I'm going to mount this to the main plate. So this is actually going to take a little bit of maneuver. I'm going to set down the phone again, but you can kind of see what it's going to look like. So the mounting, I don't know what the mounting things are, but they're within that area. I'm going to attach it real quick. Just give me one second. Oh, it's actually in the back of it. Okay. Interesting. And, and, and. I probably actually should have showed you this, but on it, there's actually three pads. I don't know if I can still show it. Oh God, I definitely should not pick it up like this. <gasps> oh, I don't pick it up like that either. There is, let's see if I can get some light in here. There's three little felt pads. You can probably see them a little bit. Three felt pads on this metal bar that actually cushions it a little bit. Although it doesn't actually touch because there's the pegs and that holds it upright. Um, this is what it looks like. And um, I'm pretty sure I told you. But uh, before I, I like I had to prove the pictures and make any final changes to it so they could chip it out and get it glossed and everything, I, I got to see what it looks like on the base and every single angle. I actually did a really good job. And I do have pictures of it, like professional pictures. And I'll post them in a slideshow. So there's the ones... Um, actually, they're pretty much the same. The I, I, I got two separate things, uh, two separate... Um, uh, panels of pictures. It was this whole helicopter and the base without this metal plate and the second set of pictures was the whole helicopter plus the base. So it was the whole full done deal and I'll post that. They're actually really sick ass pictures. So they got the top view, they got the side view, they got the bottom view, they got the tail rotor picture, they got they got everything. And it's much better quality than the, my broke ass iPhone. Okay so uh, but anyways I do love this tail number. It looks so dope. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, we got the two exhaust pipes. I don't, this takes some extreme craftsmanship. I will just say that right now. Like I've built stuff, like I said before, out of wood and I could not build this in a million years. I couldn't even build this main rotor. The whole shaft itself, the swash plate and all that crap. I couldn't even do that. It would take me a year to probably figure that out. But how much detail is in here? I don't know if it was done with the laser printer but holy crap but anyways yeah this is the model i will post the link to the uh, silent thunder models site in the description they do aircrafts and marine so like boats and submarines and shit like that um i don't know if they do vehicles though well anyways to wrap things up thanks for watching this unboxing video if you guys have any questions on the uh the model or anything related to the model itself um, feel free to comment below. I will post the description in, uh, or the, sorry, the link in the description below. Um, otherwise that'd be it. Uh, I'm going to include slideshow at the end of this video too. There probably won't be music on it because I'm too lazy to put music on it. Um, but anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching.
Well, anyways, to wrap things up, thanks for watching this unboxing video. If you guys have any questions on the uh, the model or anything related to the model itself, um, feel free to comment below. I will post the description in, uh, or the, sorry, the link in the description below. Um, otherwise, that be it. Uh, I'm gonna include slideshow at the end of this video too. There probably won't be music on it because I'm too lazy to put music on it. Um, but that's it. Thank you for watching.